Oh, hi, how are you? My name is Max, and today I'm going to tell you a little bit of a story. Spoiler, it's going to be a little bit like Maz's story time. If you don't know who my buddy Maz is, go check him out. Might be biting off a little bit of his style, but deal with it. All right, let's get started. So first, I'm gonna tell you the story about how I wash my hands. With soap. Great, now I'm gonna tell the story about my worst hangover ever. So my friends and I have always loved playing drinking games. Sometimes they were really cool, other times they are really kind of stupid. This game's called Drink, ready, go. One day we started doing power hours. Now for those of you who don't know, power hours when you drink one shot of beer every minute for one full hour. The idea is you wanna get through all 60 minutes without puking, that's the goal. Now the best way to keep track of this is to have a playlist that plays a different song every minute for a full hour. It's going a little fast, isn't it? At first it's pretty disorienting because you're drinking out of a little cup, you feel like you're at a little girl's tea party, and the songs are changing every minute, so you feel like you kind of got like schizophrenia or Alzheimer's or something. Am I in the Matrix? Am I in the Matrix? Am I in the Matrix? No, shut the fuck up! And before we go any further, I want to stress two things. One, fuck you. Two, if you're gonna be drinking, make sure you're doing it responsibly, and you're gonna be puking, so make sure you have a bucket handy. Honestly, it's a lot of liquid, it's a lot of carbonation building up in your stomach, so make sure you're burping a lot if you're gonna try it. A friend of mine one time burped really badly on minute 59. Blah. Hey dude, you okay? Yeah dude, I'm fine, don't worry about it. Alright guys, last minute, here we go. Blah. Oh, saw that coming. I'm a nice guy, so I'm not gonna call him out by name. His name was Ethan. Anywho, now growing up, I used to get really, really car sick, motion sick, all that. I would puke in planes, boats, any sort of a car ride over 15 or 20 minutes. Consequently, I became very adept at not throwing up. I was an expert at not puking. So anyway, one night we got a little too big for our britches. Yeah, I don't, I don't know, I don't know what that means. So logically, what's better than 60 minutes that, fuck you, God. Jesus. 60 minutes wasn't enough. We needed to do 100 minutes. We called it the Century Club. Way too much beer. I would not recommend what happened. We got to minute 60, feeling good. I love this song. We got to minute 70, 80, and then before you knew it, we were at 100. Of course, I didn't know it at the time because I couldn't see straight. I couldn't lift my arms. In fact, I had to have a friend open my lip and pour the drink into my mouth. Again, mom, I'm sorry. Don't try this at home. Don't try it. Just don't try it. Just don't do it. Now, this story's about the hangover. So, the next morning I wake up, somehow I'm in my bed. <gasps> Phone's ringing off the hook. I had an internship at the time. Hello? It's my boss. Max, where the fuck are you? Supposed to be here 45 minutes ago. Oh. Oh my god, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm right there. I'm in the car. I'm looking for parking. Sidebar, if you know anything about me, and I, this is a shout out to all my friends, I love you so much. That has been my one constant lie to everyone forever. If I'm ever late and they call me to be like, where the fuck are you? I always say I'm in the car looking for parking. And 99% of the time, I'm at home in my underwear. Oh, did I poop my pants? No, I didn't really poop my pants. Well, 10%. Anyway, somehow I get to work. I'm here. I'm here. I made it, I'm at work. My boss looks at me and he goes, Jesus, you look terrible. Would you come here with a shoe? Uh, I, I, yeah. I, okay, great. Well, get on your desk, I'll be back in an hour. My boss took off for about an hour. All I had to do was man the phones and then somehow if I survived, I'd be able to go home. I got to my cubicle, I pulled my phone off the desk and curled up into a little ball on the ground and tried to answer the phones without crying. Compliance and liability. He comes back and he says, All right, dumb fuck, it's a slow day. You're obviously a disaster. Why don't you just get out of here? By the way, got you one of these. Thank you. Thank you so much. Let me tell you, nothing in the world, in the history of mankind civilization, and in the future histories of ancient aliens and all that business, <laughs> nothing tasted as good as that orange Gatorade that day. I could see again. I could think again. I could breathe again. It was amazing. Anyway, I made it, drove home. Uh oh. Oh, wait a minute. That hangover had one more joke up its sleeve. Oh no. Oh no. Remember how I said I never puked? Well, as I'm sure you can guess, I puked. And then I puked again. And then I puked some more. And then when I thought I was done puking, I puked some more. It was a busy street, so a lot of cars were driving by honking at me. I didn't know what to do, so I just waved. I puked. Broke my streak. But at the end of the day, at least I learned my lesson. Hello? Yo, man, that Century Club last night was awesome, right? Oh, yeah. I don't know. So you want to do it again tonight? Fuck yeah! I'm Max No Sleeves, and that's my worst hangover. True story. Sorry, Mom. I want to hear your best hangover story. Let me know in the comments below, or else. No, just, but tell me, seriously. Seriously? Seriously. If you like the video, please subscribe. If you don't like the video, please subscribe. My name is Max No Sleeves, and I'll see you next Tuesday.